Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to this unboxing of this Mini Art 135th scale M3 Lee early production full interior military tank. Look at this, isn't this looking fantastic, eh? Amazing. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe. If you want to contribute a bit, you can join the channel. Click that join button there. It's only the cost of a cup of coffee a month uh, to join, but it would help immensely. Um, there's also other options in description for if you wanted to join up, if you wanted to um, go with PayPal or buy me an iced coffee, those options are there too. And throughout the video, if you think of something you want to comment on, please comment a welcome below. And of course, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. All right. So this is was brought out in 2019 uh, as an original new tooling. Obviously, Mini Art, as Mini Art is known, there will probably be a very lot of pieces to, the, to this kit. And we'll just have a quick look. Um, so it's got a uh, kit contains model of US medium tank. It's got it's a World War II military miniatures series. It's an interior kit, which means it comes with the full interior. So that makes it quite special. Let's have a look around the side. We've got pretty much the same pictures. Here we've got all sorts of versions of it on here so that leaves quite a good choice of what what you could do with this um yeah what is there there's eight different uh schemes available there so let me it's a heavy box too by the way it weighs a kilo yeah there's a lot of parts in here i'm sure so give me a moment now i'll get this open and we'll go through and we'll check out all the parts in detail the sprues we'll go through the instructions and um, i think there's photo etch in here as well and of course the decals all right be back in a sec okay so the lid was quite tight fitting and a very solid box here so i'm sure we're going to have no problems with any damaged parts um, on the top we've got our instruction manual which looks really nice we've got a highly detailed model we're saying here uh, it's got workable t41 tracks included there's a continental r975 engine included fully detailed fighting compartment interior driver's compartment interior accurately represented um, all hatches can be posed open or closed. Photo etch parts are included. Clear parts are included. And decal sheets for eight variants of the model are available in here as well. So, fantastic. Um, related items on the back, we've got some uh, Soviet tank crew, some other crew, German tank crew there, close combat US tank crew. US officers. I don't know if this includes crew. I don't think it does, but there, there's plenty of options to get hold of crew. So we'll go have a look at the um, parts first, and then we'll go for a run through the instructions, um, the paint, the paint callouts, and everything else. Right. So let's see. All right. So it looks like everything is in one bag. One big bag with a lot of plastic in there I can tell you look at that look how thick that is so obviously when I open this it's not going to go back the way it came out so that's okay because this model will be built at some point on my channel okay this unboxing will go in the playlist under the name of the, um, the tank and the build series will be in there um, depending on when you're watching will depend on if it's all been built or if it's in the progress or if I haven't started yet <laughs> okay so let's let's get this bag open ok 
Okay. Just make sure there's no loose parts. Okay. I'll be putting everything into the box. So, so that'll be all good. Not worried about all this. Okay. All right. Now, let me bring some over bit by bit. I'll move these over to the side. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so first up, and I will put a disclaimer up front, is that I am not an experienced armor builder. Okay, I have only ever built one tank before, and um, well, actually I built two. The second one I never finished. <laughs> So, yeah, not much experience. These look like tracks. Um, the reason I say look like is because my other two tanks came with the rubber tracks that you just stuck on the wheels and it was all easy. But these all are the links, I'm guessing. So, yeah. Well, I won't open this up, but it does look like there's about uh, 6, 12 maybe 25 individual pieces in there so okay so I'll put that aside uh, next in here we have all right so that looks like the turret and that looks really nice look at the detail on that you can see how rough that is it's got that metal effect around it so that's really nice uh, even on the inside, you've got all the rivet details all on that inside there. Okay, very nice. Now, if you wanted to, the um, instructions are available on Scalemates. And if you look up this tank, they are the current uh, instructions as well. So that makes it a lot easier if you're building this to be able to refer to that and zoom in close when you're not sure about certain parts fitting but that looks really nice it looks nice okay moving on uh we'll start with this part here all right so sprue g c so there's going to be a lot of sprues i'm not going to try and name them all but um and I'll, i'm pretty much guessing what a lot of this is um, and I would say a lot of this is the interior. So, yeah, I can make out there's some canisters there. Uh, very, very tiny parts. Look at that. Look how small those parts are. Very tiny. So, yeah, there's a, there's a machine gun there. And really detailed too. Very detailed. See the magazine on that some more little wheels that probably open open uh, different piping and stuff inside so yeah lots of small parts on that let's keep going here and here we have oh, you know that's sprue B so again really nice again it's got that mottling I think you call it that steel surface on there it looks really good uh, you can see all the rivets all the raised detail on that looks really nice on here as well I'm not sure what that is uh, part of that is it the copula is that what you pronounce it let me know um yeah I think that's what it's pronounced um, yeah there's some piping on the side of here looks really good a lot of parts it's scary now I I I did hear that there are over a thousand parts to this we'll see when we get to the instruction manual on how factual that is or not even on the interior when you see all that detail on that as well it's good doesn't it all right we'll keep moving keep moving along we'll be here all day uh, there's another one that way all right so we got some ammunition there some fire extinguishers here 
uh, more panels, fine little detail in there, looks amazing. There too, all oh, this looks great, very delicate parts in here as well. Um, but everything looks in good condition, which is good. Uh, yeah, very crisp, very crisp looking. It's going to look really nice when it's all painted up properly and looking really good. Okay. And we got, uh, looks like about three sprues on one here. And that's going to go, this looks like the engine. Look at the engine. Look at that, all the cylinder on that. This is like an aircraft engine, isn't it? I'm not sure. Let me know. We'll have a look at the instructions and see what they say, if there's any history. Very nice, detailed, delicate parts in there, especially there. Look at the engine on Look at that. Amazing. All the piping here. Isn't that going to look incredible? Very small, delicate parts here. Everything is in good condition, though. Small bits there. More cylinders, more containers. Little uh, buttons on a control panel there of some sort. Amazing. Amazing. That's all I'm going to keep saying. <laughs> um, mini art. What can you say? It's, oh, wow. I've just, I've just looked in the box under those big sprues. And look what I'm looking at here. There's like all these. Okay. <laughs> so bear with me. We've got quite a, a number of the wheels here. And look at the detail on that. They look really good. Okay, so we've got quite a few sprues for the wheels. And then, I don't know what that is. That probably is another wheel that grabs the track as it goes through. Yeah, that's what I think that is. Again. Very nice detail on those, they look really good. So you've got all those. Um, I do think that's it for the wheels from what I can see in here. I'll put these away. Uh, that, I'm really keen to know, have you built this? Let me know in the comments if you've built this. Right, look at the fine detail work on that. Uh, panel the instrument panel there and all these look at that very nice there's another one like it here another interior wall with more instruments on there both sides very nice uh, We've got um, two look like the same of these ones. Turn them up the right way. I don't know what this is. This may be... No, I don't know. But there's some really fine little pieces on there. Look at that. Just make them out how small they are. I have no idea what parts they are. Look at that. Like a little pulley system there. There's some tow hitch um, on there, possibly a small gun. Some impossibly small parts. <laughs> amazing. amazing, as I say, amazing. Um, moving on, we've got more here. There's some tools. We've got a shovel there, an axe, metal pole. A few other bits and pieces in there. There's the head of a pick. So that's good. There's some really nice fine parts on that. I don't know what those are. Gonna have to sharpen my nippers, my sprue nippers for these. Look at that. That's the same as that, I think. Yeah, those two are the same. There's so many of these small ones. Here we go. This one here's got a 
We've got a gun on there, a machine gun on there. A few other parts. Very nice. Very detailed. Uh, here we've got some ammunition. Some shell casings there. More there. Yep. No flash on this at all that I've seen so far. Everything is really nice and crisp. Uh, gosh, how many sprues are there? Hey, if you count all these small ones. Uh, there's another gun. Two guns on there. There's quite a lot of guns. There's some more... Uh, that look like a couple of seats possibly there. Looks like part of the suspension in there. More of the same. More of the same. I'd say yeah, that's part of the suspension for the wheels. That's the same. That one's the same. So there's four or five sprues there, all the same. Um, hang on a sec. Yeah. Ah, uh, what are they? No idea. What are they? No, but there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of what are these there? <laughs> there's another one of those. We've had five. We've got six of them now. Um, this one, another gun. How many guns has this thing got? Oh god, that's a nice piece on there too. Another hatch opening on the top there. Some very, very tiny pieces in there. Look at those, how small they are. Love it, love it. <laughs> eh? God, just when I thought, these must be something to do with the tracks. Or are they part of the links? for the tracks. There we go, we've got, let me dig all these out. See how many we got. These look like hours and hours of fun. <laughs> hey. And that's not all. Look, look at that. Not all, no, we're nearly there. Another one there, another one there. Another one there. Oh boy, hey. Who can I send these to that they can do this for me? <laughs> just, just leave your uh, name and address and details, and I'll send them to you, and you can put them all together. Wow. Okay. So they're obviously part of the tracks. Okay. Let me get this out of the way, and we've got about another three or four more sprues to get through. We're back in a sec. All right. So. Just so you know, 336 of these individual pieces. There you go. There you go. Easy, eh? Easy. Now, we've got these, some nice sides of the tank, it looks like. Nice panels, detail on both sides, look really good. Look at those rivets sticking out on there. It's going to look really amazing when it's all weathered up. Some very small bits in there as well. Got this one here. Look at that. The detail on that. It looks nice, doesn't it? Let's see that. Again, both sides. Oh, look at that. All the wiring on that wall. On that wall there. Excellent. And we've got one more sprue. So that's all. Here we go. So we've got all the sides and the top of the tank. And there we go. There's the sides there. Some nice walls there, there's the top. There's where your hatches will go. This could be a couple of hatches there. That's the that's the inside. Then you look at the outside, and there they are. Again, look at the detail on that. Fantastic. Certainly be using um oh, look at that mottling. I'm sure that's called mottling, isn't it? That effect on there. Very nice. 
Um, I'll certainly be using black primer on this um, and help bring out the, that, the, the extra detail underneath. Yeah, black Mr. Surfacer, probably. All right, that's all the sprues, except for the clear sprues. I won't open this, obviously, but uh, in here we've got some little windows, it looks like, some light headlight covers, probably tail lights as well, covers. Uh, and again, everything's all on the sprue. There were no pieces in the bag, which is good. Everything's in its place. The decals I'll leave in there too, keep them safe, but uh, they're nice and bright. Um, got all the numbers on there, all the different variations, up, up to eight different um, variations for these decals. So that's a, quite a good choice. We'll have a look at that in the instructions. And then we have the usual little mini art packet here. We will have a quick look in here. This will be the photo etch. Okay. Take that out, and there it is there. So, very nice, some grill, some nice grill work on there. A few other bits and pieces, some brackets. Um, yeah, and in good nick, good condition. Yeah, there we go. And I can count 35, up to 35 pieces on that. So, very good. Put that back in its safe little envelope. And uh, we can uh, move on and have a look at the instructions now. Okay, we'll be back in a shortly. All right, so here's our instructions. Um, Mr. Uh, I keep saying Mr. M3 Lee Early Production. Uh, the model number is 35206. Okay, um, very nice pictures on here. There's only a bit of glare on the first few pages, but once we get into the instructions, there won't be any glare. We've read through that, so we know what's in here. Over the first page, so we have painting guide. First Armour Division, US Army Military Maneuvers, State of California, November 1941. And that's that one. Okay, so there'll be eight of these options for doing it. I'll try and get that glare off so you can see it. All right. Someone's done a very good job of putting these up on scale mates and you can see quite clearly as well. Um, but that looks really nice. It's showing you which decals to use for that. And um, even though it says painting guide, I don't see any reference to what color we're using oh yes we do so 030706 012 we'll need to refer back to the um uh, the guide which will be further on um then we've got the second armored division u.s army fort benning in georgia early 1942 okay so that's that version we go up here to the canadian army uh training armored division in Great Britain, 1942. I like that. I like how it's got that sort of a white through it. Interesting. Then we've got the Red Army, and it says supposedly the 192nd Tank Brigade of the 61st Army Br Brinsk Front. I probably pronounced that wrong. Okay, so in July 1942. Well, that looks really nice there. Okay. Uh, we'll have a look at the back because I think they usually go straight to the rest on the back. Yeah, we got. So you got one, two, three, four there. We got this one here, Red Army. Again, Armored Brigade, 61st Army. Uh, so that looks nice. I like that. I like that graf graffiti looking decal on the front there. Here we go, the German Army, Wormalt, Captured Unit, Minsk, February 1942. So there's a totally different colour scheme on that. Obviously it's being used in the snow. Um, here we got the German Army here, Captured on the Eastern Front, 1943. 
That looks nice. And we've got the Red Army 5th Guards Tank Army on the step front in Kirkst, 1940, July 1943. All right, so those are your choices uh, when it comes to painting and decaling. So we go over to where it all begins and we'll get this, make sure this is nice and focused. All right, now the instruction book is quite big as you can see, so that's nice. Um, here's all our sprue count, okay? And we have a bit of a attention here. Caution, when you use glue or paint, do not use near open flame. All right, we know all that, that's okay. Uh, see the bottom of this column for the meaning of symbols. Um, extra details can remain after assembling of the kit. Okay, so there may be parts left over. There's our photo etch parts. There's our decal sheet reference. Clear parts. All our sprue parts. And up here is the key. So we've got make two times two on it. Do not cement with an X through it. Optional, have the arrows either side like a yin and yang. There's a hole we need to drill in that one. There's remove, showing the blade. Bend uh, and uh, scratch build. So it's the usual that we come across with mini art models. All right, let's go. Now, step one. Okay, so typical of mini art uh, directions, which are very detailed and very clear in their pictures, fantastic but they tend to be like a jigsaw puzzle everywhere right what i do and i've done this in the past is for instance step one is here and it includes all around here like this and what i would do is i get myself a ruler and a pencil and i'll draw a line that cut that includes step one Okay, otherwise you start looking at things that are actually on a different step. See, for instance, step one here, and we've got A. A is referring to this piece that's going in here, but you need to put that together first, which is what it's doing here. So A is putting this piece together, and then you come back over to here, and you see that is where A is going to go and fit. All right. Now, this one here has an arrow pointing here in the box pointing to that's what you're building and then of course that goes onto there and then it all goes down into here okay so it, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle here we've got these parts two sides going together and then it points across to here and that's where it's going to look like and then it connects to that and then it all comes down onto the base which are these parts you'll see everything is labeled every part is like jb1 is that db5 is that little screw there another db5 is another one there okay and then the numbers in the one these number ones are the color codes so all those gray numbers are telling you the color in this case white everything you see here is going to be white so far uh, we're obviously starting on the interior all right, so then all this joins together, joins together, and you're done. Then you come down to number two, and I'm just trying to see. All right, so those parts go together. Uh, and then there's number three, which looks identical, just the opposite side. So I'm just trying to figure where they go in the scheme of things. You can see how confusing it all is. Um, so we've gone from this down to here. See now number four, see? So number two, number three, and then you come across here to number four. But I don't know where they are going in. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell, isn't it? I can't see those put together. They've got like a close-up looking at this as it goes on here. Um, I can see one side there that looks like that. 
and then we got four, five, and six, step six. So that's all that completed. All right, well, we're not gonna go into too much detail. This is just take forever, but all right. Number seven, we're still working on the interior. Here, we've got this giant big wall going in. Again, it's all painted white. Uh, it's going down onto there. We've got this part here, so you've got to watch out for these boxes, these light boxes which are pointing to the finished picture here. So all these parts go together. There's a couple of colours needed in there. And then that will then come down and sit down onto here, which is what you've already built. Okay, again, there's the chair, pointing at the chair, and that's where it goes. You've got this piece going here. So another good point, another one I do is that I will put a, a cross through the letter, uh, through the number when I've painted it, and then I'll circle the part when it's, when it's on. All right, and I'll circle the parts as I go and put things together. Okay, so that's going on down to seven. Then uh, instead of nine being here, we go over to here, which is eight. So we have an option here. See, we got this, which is optional. We've got closed position or open position. So you can choose which way you want to do that. And then I'm guessing that that will come over to here. There it is there. Uh, yeah, there's a few more brackets going on to there. It's going to be a lot of painting, a lot of airbrush cleaning <laughs> between painting for sure. That's, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so that's going to go on there. Um, that's just, well, we're on page seven, but we started on page six. Going over the page, step 10. Okay, there's some ammunition shells going on onto that wall. Some of the detail going onto the wall there. Racking. Uh, number 11, more racking and parts going on there. Incredible, isn't it? Again, showing you how that, what, what parts go on that, what color it is, and there it is. Finished, and then where it goes on the main part. Here we go further, doing more interior, more parts. It looks like a battery. Or maybe not, it looks like a jerry can of some sort there. Moving on down here, another optional closed or open position. So very important to read the instructions before you build. I mean, from start to finish, you know, and as hard as it may seem, try and go through it all in your mind as well, because sometimes it doesn't always work doing it in the order the instructions tell you to particularly when it comes to painting. So here we are on the side of the um, tank, on the inside wall, we've got some canisters going there, look like fire extinguishers, another piece there, another racking there, there's a gun going on the wall there. Um, that was one of those small guns we saw, you've got to paint that up, there's three different colors there. This is showing that end piece and what it looks like when it's on. So that's okay, there's some bits there they're telling you to cut. Okay, uh, 15, that's like the opposite wall now. 16, it's like a seat. There you going on there. And here we go, so number 17 is the two sides going on. So yeah, that's all gonna be painted up. 15 and 14, so it's telling you what parts they are. Uh, this here is referencing oh, the rack that's got to go between the two. That's like a seat, possibly. And number 18, the other, the other part of that wall as well. Yeah, fun, fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. It looks like number 19, step 19, working on that radial engine. Look at the detail in that. There's some color call outs there as well. And there's an arrow, so here we go, number 19. So you want to do this, then this, I guess, and then it looks like that, all right? Very detailed. Uh, and then from that, we go to this. That's coming down and going on top, I guess. That's coming on there. 
Then we go to step 21 is putting this together and then putting it all down on top of there. Look at that. That's amazing. It's complicated, isn't it? And those parts going on, they look like exhaust. Over to 23, another layer of stuff going on top there. It's going to look amazing when it's all detailed and weathered up. Look at that, even the tiniest little pieces going in there. They don't miss a thing. 24, 25, we've got these each side going down here. There's the engine being fitted in, in the back there. All right. There it is fitted with some uh, more um, brackets and braces going on the back there. More pieces going in around it. More bits going around it. That looks like some of the exhaust going through. Not sure. 30, 31. Just some more piping going on. 32 is more pipes. Wow. More and more. <laughs> some of the framework around the engine, all the details, all the dials and stuff on the wall there. 35 with the times two, so you want to make two of these. Uh, and 35, so there they are there. There's 35 of these pieces. 34 is that panel which you put together there and then it all goes on to the front of the engine or back depending which way you're looking at it More here. There's our photo etch grill going down on the top mesh On there, so that'll look really nice uh, There's no color call out for that interesting uh, I, don't, I would assume you wouldn't leave it wouldn't leave it gold It'd probably be uh, black or something here we go, another options of open or closed position. So there's these doors here, open or close. There's another panel going on, another panel going on there. Oh my gosh, look at that. So more um, instruments and computer panels and stuff going on there. It's just building up next layer of stuff on the walls. Look at that. Here we go, we're putting the uh, main cannon together here. So step 43, it's referring here back to step 42. 43 is this and this, and parts going on. 44, all going in, and here it is. There's the guard, the front, uh, what do you call that? Like a uh, panel on the front, protected. There it is there. That's amazing, isn't it? There it is, more small parts, more bits going on top and on the bottom. So much detail in, in just doing that alone. Look at that. There's another open and closed variant on stuff there as well. There's the chair. Uh, here's another side wall going on here. Fire extinguisher, possibly. Um, there's the piece where the cannon barrel itself is going to go through. That's it there, referring back to 55, which is that. There's 51, which you built on the other page. And then it all goes down into the tank or onto the tank. And there's another wall going on. Another open and close option over here. Going down, more sides of the tank going on here, more little detailed bits. There's some machine guns going on there, two of them. There they are there, showing where they get fitted. There's this plate going down over here where the driver's... Oh, I don't know if he's the driver or he's just operating guns, but you can see out that hatch there. Ah, 62, we're at step 62. More parts going on here, more guns going on the walls. Uh, different painting codes there, more panels, um, more equipment on the side outside of the tank, left and right, more left and right stuff here, looks like lights, um, another panel with some parts going on, there's another photo etch piece, 
going and there's, there's going together there's the piece there and there's where it goes down on there it's covering over the engine there and here's another piece sitting down on the front there very good I wonder how much of that engine you can see right here we've got some tools there's our axe and a shovel and a, a lever and everything all going down onto the tank there all on the back there's our tow cable obviously that's included in there I didn't see that in there but I'm guessing it is um, that goes on the back there it is there uh, more looks like there's little oil cans or something containers sitting around on that belt there we go building the hatches here all to go down on top just when you think you're done look at that more or more hatches open and closed position options there more open closed positions options on all of these here um, open and close here on the side that's good um, some bits of protector around the headlight on there another hatch another headlight moving across more open or closed positions uh, some sort of tools on the side there more parts there's the windows and windscreen wipers to go on there amazing some tiny little studs and bolts need to go on there. there's optional open closed position there wow oh we haven't even got to the tracks yet nor the wheels have we <laughs> here they are here so this is putting all the wheels together okay and then fitting them one two and before on the other side there's our other one there that pulls the track around that star shape two each track links contain 79 tracks and we've got to make two okay so it's showing how they go together there's all these 300 and what was it 300 and something of these that all get fitted together fun and then all these get put on here and repeat on the back side times two okay and there's your tracks going on here we've got uh, open and closed position another hatch another open closed position there here we're building up a gun quite a large gun large caliber gun sitting on the side there all the parts to that blast shield on that and that's where it goes on that piece top of the tank and more parts wow look at that look at all the interior of that so much detail step 97 and 98 look at all the all the rounds of ammunition all mounted around on the wall incredible um, more bits there's that ring going down on the top uh, step 103 some more machinery parts that's part of the thing to help turn rotate the whole turret the whole section around looks like there's some uh, tubing of some sort going in there there's our seat going in the middle uh, more parts there's another gun of course another gun going in there again all the gun parts again open and closed positions on the top of that step 111 there we go so there's that piece putting down on top of there which is going on top of there and then the whole thing goes down in one piece on there I'm guessing you don't glue it that'll just sit in there so you can take that off and there it is complete there's your color guide and then it's done <laughs> in about what six months <laughs> all right so down here is our color chart i'll just quickly read them out to you in the name but we do have vallejo options mr color life color tamia ak mission models and i don't know what that is because it looks like it's written in ukrainian being a ukrainian uh, model kit mini art are built in ukraine so we have to begin with these are the colors we need white 
black, steel, brass, US olive drab, brown, gunmetal, wood, red, grey, aluminium and tyre black. Nothing too hard there, nothing too uncommon. Um, not a problem at all, colours you get. I myself will be tossing up between Mr. Colour and Tamiya. Um, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, one of the important things with doing a tank is the weathering. So you're going to need your panel line wash. Obviously, you're going to need your clear, which won't be a gloss clear. You'll probably use a flat clear over this. Um, so what some people do is they'll gloss clear, um, then put their decals on, and then once the decals are on, then they go over and do a flat or satin clear uh, as they're finished, finish it off. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, so there it is. All right, so let me know what you think of that in the comments. Uh, have you built that? Tell me how it went. Did you have any problems? Um, got any tips and suggestions because uh, I'm going to be building that fairly soon um, at the time of filming now uh, I'm about to start a motorcycle model but then after that I'm gonna I'm gonna build this I bought this here while I was in Thailand from a shop here called winner hobbies in uh, Chiang Mai um, lovely couple owned the shop there and um, they did me a fantastic favor they gave me 30% off the kits, 20% um, off, um, I think it's 20 or 10% off all the paints and, and another percentage off all the tools I need. So fantastic. But I saw that here and I really did want to do an interior kit build. Um, so yes, this will be on the channel. But uh, I'm keen to hear from other people um, which version they did and um, yeah, just how it went together. All right. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Uh, that join button there is an option as well. It'd be great if you want to support the channel for, I think it's about five Aussie dollars a month. It's not much. There's only one um, choice of uh, subscription and you get to see a few extra uh, videos, uh, pictures of progress and you'll see the videos come out a little bit earlier than the general public and you get your icons and him and uh, other bits and pieces too all right excellent guys um hit, get, hit the thumbs up comment subscribe i've gone through all that uh don't forget to watch my live stream every weekend uh it's great to see new people come in and say hello in the chat and we'll just talk about anything whether whatever's on the bench at the time let me know what you're doing also we have a facebook uh, group as well where you can show me what you're building um, you're welcome to post your photos i also give heads up on uh, what uh, videos i'm bringing out as well and what's in the in the works all right guys thank you all and uh well i'll see you in the next video okay bye for now cheers